Ja, aber er hat äh, definitiv auch äh, Challenges, äh, bei denen in den First 15 Minutes, äh, also fully deserved. Äh, leading 1-0 from uh, Orlando Pilots uh, team. Mm, ironically, after then being down, uh, we started already in the first half to play, found some solutions, had here their possibilities, uh, was see the one big chance from Ashley Cupido again. I think it was uh, definitely a good uh, chance uh, to score. But anyway, I think uh, so far with uh, our Structure set up uh, with the right uh, dynamic. Um, we have seen, I believe, uh, a good performance. Um, uh, to sum it up, um, each and everybody uh, contributed. If it is uh, Neil Boschoff or Bradley, uh, Bralani in the end of the day, or Bottomelo or everybody, I think we have seen uh, excellent wingbacks today on uh, both flanks, left and right. Uh, of course, uh, here and there, we changed tactically not the setup, but uh, with bringing in some uh, uh, players uh, in a different position. Um, for example, in the end, Chomani and uh, Azanele born as wingers, as it is in football, in particular on this continent. Um, they played in double six uh, to get more dynamic uh, out of the center in the forward movement, and I think um, they solved it quite clearly. Um, yeah, we are definitely on our journey, uh, as we said, uh, chasing, chasing uh, something impossible, uh, we are on the way, uh, it will take time, we work hard, uh, we have seen some players today first time, uh, Maduna had his first minutes, um, Farmer trained with us three days at his first minute, um, Chepo Komede came uh, last week in, also four or five days with us only. Some other players uh, definitely um, have more potential, but uh, as I like to say, and I will repeat myself uh, again and again, uh, we must stay humble. We must, uh, uh, yeah, not uh, pushing ourselves into a comfort zone. If you do so, then you destroy your own potential, and uh, that would be definitely not the right way. We are very happy and um, good. We have in three days uh, our next uh, challenge, Stellenbosch, uh, 5.30 on Saturday. We now open for questions from the floor. By show of hands, please identify yourself as well as the media company you represent. Are there any questions for the coach? Noted. Good evening, coach. Yeah. Next to your time, I to look cheesed off and get some bellicose reaction. Can you share with us what was the you were elegant. Why were you elegant? Yeah. He said, next, next to your packet, you look like a cheese of person. He displayed some bad holes in the reaction. Share with us what was happening. Um, nothing. We played the game after 90, after 101 minutes. Uh, uh, it was 1 1, that's all. Yeah. Um, Kush, uh, congratulations on the point. Yeah. Um, I just want to add two or two post questions. Um, because I think now it's what seven points from the last uh, three matches. Um, if you can just take us through uh, in terms of how you've got it to the stage, because this is the team that are struggling to. Uh, they have not had back to back wins. This run. Um, what has it made it possible for you to, to be at this stage at this level? And also, I'm interested to know about um, I've been seeing you promoting a number of uh, young players, even from um, the reserve team. Usually, they, in, in, in the PSL, um, coaches are reluctant to come um, with youngsters. Um, could it be that these youngsters from Spurs already have enough experience uh, so it's easier for them to jump? Do you know how many youngsters on the side of uh, Orlando Pirates uh, have you seen today? They were not definitely not playing all, but how many youngsters they got the first uh, step into the PSL in Maritzburg United or with other clubs uh, from my side, Bloom from the Celtic and so on? You count it, we can't do it. Can't do it. So how many players are in other clubs, even bigger clubs, uh, got into the PSL? Uh, 
because I was uh, definitely able to see the potential, to trust the players and bring them in. We work hard, everybody is contributing, um, we have a very clear uh, concept and, and that's what it is, it's not a one-man show. I need a, a good technical team, we need a good uh, development side, what is there? It is, I have nothing to do, I'm only brave uh, to bring Giovanni, bring Liam, bring Azanele, bring uh, the other players that can continue, Sevilla who played in ABC League uh, till, till January. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit cross in my mind uh, in certain direction when everybody is looking and uh, yeah, but I just do it. I don't ask anybody and I don't, uh, uh, we discuss it inside the technical team. Uh, we watch uh, the training session, we work uh, with it and yeah, no, but sometimes uh, you just uh, throw in and just uh, see the potential and you know they can do it uh, simply easy. I have done it uh, in 30 years uh, in August. Uh, I'm 30 years on a professional level. Um, that is uh, what happened and uh, a number of players, uh, when I will retire, I don't know when it will be in 10 or 20 years, I will sit down and uh, go through, uh, starting 1994 in the Bundesliga, how many national team players, how many young players, how many uh, players uh, here in South Africa, in Asia and other continents have got the first step into the professional setup. It will be a number book. And by the way, uh, just to, to make uh, go back to your to question, uh, the gentleman on this side, it's very obvious. I don't know what is it about, but uh, it was a fantastic time uh, when you really could, uh, and that's why I mentioned 30 years, it was a fantastic time uh, when you had colleagues uh, like Trapattoni, like uh, Otto Reag, like uh, Livio Scala, like uh, Franz Beckenbauer like Jürgen Klopp uh, and so on, I can continue uh, where you coach in the Bundesliga and you, what I did over years uh, and you were with them uh, on the side. Never something like this happened, never. It was not, uh, I don't know what it is, I don't know in which way, but uh, it's definitely something, uh, if somebody wants a reaction, then he gets it, simply easy. Colleagues being colleagues in the soccer industry, in particular here in South Africa, is not existent. Let's be very, very clear and very honest. So, so the first question was, this team has been struggling to, to get points. So in the last three matches, seven points or nine matches. I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, you know, there have been coaches who have promoted a team, a fantastic job. It's, 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 it's great. It's, uh, please, let's be honest. Uh, um, and of course, uh, struggling at a certain point, um, I think sometimes you have to, to bring some structure in uh, in a different way um, so that, that we uh, we struggled continue also in November, December. We, we lost game, uh, played the draw in, I don't know, in Durban somewhere, um, but yeah, definitely not. For us, it was fantastic to have six weeks uh, pre-season uh, and to put stuff together in a way uh, as we want to see. Hi, Coach, well played today. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the officiating um, today and also with the next three games with Stellenbosch, Chipper, and Swallows, how do you approach this run in? Do you take it game by game? Do you have a group of, of, of matches that you target a certain amount of points? No. No, it's, uh, it's definitely, it just starts to get uh, communal or critical or whatever. You start with six takes and next, uh, I can assure you that uh, I haven't been busy with, uh, even didn't watch the game, uh, Stellenbosch uh, playing against the in Cape Town City. Uh, I haven't watched uh, the game on the Pirates against uh, Polokwane before. I started uh, Sunday after TS Galaxy, we finished this game, finished, and then after this in the night, uh, you go through what you can do, which players are available. Uh, same now, we have with Rushwin, uh, fourth yellow card, he's out. Uh, hopefully, Rafik uh, de Gude will come back, Michael Morton will come back. We have to see how uh, fresh uh, Lugo uh, Beva is a fantastic player, but uh, he was complaining about uh, some bank issues. That is why I uh, take him out. Uh, Liam, uh, normally I can't take him out, but I was scared that he get the second yellow card. Um, not uh, because I thought the, the referees uh, did a bad job, that is uh, not the case. Uh, they played probably a little bit over uh, with 100 uh, and, and whatever minutes, but uh, that's only my opinion. I think they have done the job uh, um, absolutely okay. Um, 
that was more um, nothing to do with the library. This uh, tumult in the end, it's, it's probably a little bit history uh, uh, based on. Uh, but anyway, yes, it's, it's just, just what it is. Uh, referee, all four were okay. Take the next two questions, then I will read. Good evening, Coach Carol mm -hmm. from Supersport. Congratulations on a point out from home. Uh, coach, I've followed your career from the Hunter Celtics. My respect is with you, Sam Mount, at Cape Town Spurs. Uh, one thing that I've realized over the last uh, three games is that you know you look to be much, much more calmer uh, in the past, a bit erratic, you know, to the players and so forth. Is, it, is it a <laughs> conversation? Is it, is it a conversation that you had with the players that maybe are they demanding you to be much more calmer, or are they are they a bit, you know, uh, uh, you know, scared? If, if, if you uh, are too uh, of course, everybody has uh, absolute uh, the right to learn and focus. Uh, I have all experience uh, running around. Uh, I jumped on, on fences in my and uh, 40, uh, 30 years plus 10 years semi-professional. Uh, I did everything. I, I, I had a lot of uh, what I went through. So, but at any time, I was always focused. Uh, on what can you do? How can you put players uh, in different position? Uh, even when I was uh, having a hard time in 2005, when I brought Jimmy Tao into the central position or Cyril and Sama into the central holding position, it uh, was impossible. It was impossible to, to. They played their best games. They played their fantastic games. But um, it's, it's definitely uh, logical that, um, yeah, at a certain time, you get experience, you know, all this shit uh, doesn't uh, help you. So in this moment, so what? Uh, just be calm and, and be concentrated and focused. And as long as you see that each and every player is uh, committed, is uh, following a certain uh, way how we want to have, uh, how the expectation into the direction to fulfill the position, yeah, that's the next point. Then you can be a bit more calm. Thank you, Coach. Uh, I think uh, your team played uh, pretty well today in the second half. Uh, Coach, would you say that you've got a set uh, point study that you wish to achieve in order for the team to be able to come with the foot of the table and then be in a safe show? No, we uh, can influence uh, and should only be busy with us. Uh, what we can influence <coughs> our games, uh, we will not uh, achieve in the end. Uh, status uh, because other teams are losing or not pointing, making points or whatever. Let's be busy with our own. We have a next game, as I said, this Saturday, uh, 5.30, we start with it preparing now uh, to go into details, look at our own team, uh, what can be done. Uh, uh, and I said, we, 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 uh, we really, knowing have this already a little bit in your mind, uh, in planning, in looking in, knowing there's another game, uh, we shared in 45 minutes, 45 minutes, both Otomelo and Cupido haven't been uh, fully with us uh, during the preseason, so now uh, you share a little bit. You must accept that uh, Lubo did all the, you see the distance and you see the data from him, from him uh, and the GPS, it's uh, outstanding, it's, it's really on a level. So and he now starts uh, cramping, starts uh, looking a little bit uh, upset uh, in certain moments and react, give him 45 minutes and take another one. Final question. Thanks, Tim. Um, Coach, um, with all due respect to your current employers, but are you able to share your experience as follows on what happened? I'm definitely able to give you a very detailed insight, uh, but uh, being able doesn't mean to do it. <laughs> uh, I had a very clear uh, decision to make in March. It's nothing to do with going into the Bundesliga 3 in Germany after this. I had to make a decision. And this decision was based on, on discussions we had before. If something happened, uh, expect. So simple, easy, and that's it.